distributive property of multiplication is the process of distributing multiplication over addition and subtraction. It can help us solve algebraic equations and make multiplication easier. Let's check it out. Do you know what distribute means? Distribute means to hand out, to give away, to spread. The distributive property of multiplication allows us to distribute or hand out multiplication to addition and subtraction. Let me show you what I mean. If we have a simple problem like 5 times 3, which we all should know equals 15, we can actually separate the 3 into 1 plus 2, since 1 plus 2 equals 3. So 5 times 3 can actually be rewritten to look like this. Remember, a number or variable next to parentheses means multiplication. In other words, we would multiply 5 times 1 and 5 times 2. 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10. And if we add them together, we get the exact same answer, 15. The distributive property of multiplication is very useful in math because it allows us to separate numbers or variables and makes our problems easier to solve. Sometimes, you can change a number to make multiplication easier. For example, if we had 6 times 99, we can change the 99 to 100 minus 1, since 100 minus 1 equals 99. Then we can multiply both of these numbers by 6 using mental math. 6 times 100 is 600, and 6 times 1 equals 6, and 600 minus 6 equals 594. So in other words, 6 times 99 equals 594. This process is called the distributive property of multiplication. Usually, math people do not show it the way I just showed you. Let's look at the exact same problem, but write it another way. So we have 6 times 99, and it becomes 6 times 100 minus 1, since we know 100 minus 1 equals 99. Do you see how we wrap the 100 minus 1 in parentheses? This tells us we have to multiply the 6 by everything inside. Now we distribute or pass the 6 to the 100, and then distribute the 6 to the 1 which makes our expression look like this. See, we now have 6 times 100 minus 6 times 1. Well, 600 minus 6 equals 594. And we can do this without a calculator or paper thanks to the distributive property. If we took a problem like 4 times 365, what we could do is we could break the 365 apart. And what I'm saying is we have 300 plus 60 plus 5, which equals 365. Then we take the 4 and multiply it by each of the three numbers. So you do 4 times 300, 4 times 60, and 4 times 5. And we take those three answers, add them up and we get the answer for 4 times 365. Pretty easy, huh? The distributive pr property, the distributive the distributive property of multiplication allows us to distribute multiplication to other operations. In other words, it lets us pass or give multiplication to other numbers. Well, I hope this lesson helped. Remember, math is everywhere and anywhere. See you next time.